Hi guys, in this video I'll uh, quickly go through how I made this render. I'll uh, go through my setup one node at a time and I'll explain things along the way. Then we'll jump to Solaris and uh, render this out in Karma. So let's go. So let's look at our uh, base geometry first. So this is a file I had from a previous project. A low poly version of a 3D scan I downloaded from 3dscans.com and yep so we take this and we match size it to our origin so it's sitting at the origin then I uh, grouped these unshared edges promoted them to points and displaced them along negative y axis then I clipped them to get these smooth edges then I polyfill them a single polygon and also a patch group. Append normals and now we have a proper polygon here that doesn't look weird. Then I remesh this bottom patch node match size again uh, to so that it sits on floor and is scaled by 2 by 2 and 2. Yeah. This is our geometry. Then we create this watertight collision which is an HDA I got from a library I don't remember the name of if I do I'll link it in the description but this is uh, basically this thing collision source but a bit simpler interface to use same thing then if you look here and these edges uh, these sharp edges look a bit weird so I'm not sure what really happens but with the VDB extrapolate they seem to get better so that's that I also isolated this uh, uh, base patch and this will be used as our emission geometry now let's get into our simulation part so here I object merge that uh, base patch, blur it out a little bit to make it smaller, transform it in y axis by the voxel, uh, voxel division size, then added some tiny amount of displacement and animated it. It is animated uh, there, scattered some points pyro source and uh, we get our density temperature and velocity from here also this box size then attribute noise for density and temperature after that here i'm just telling it like uh, our normals are here at minus one so this is just velocities uh, the opposite of the normal so the velocity would be pointing upward this is a point trail velocity visualization in houdini this visualizer right here is a point trail and not like uh, pointing in the exact direction of the velocity vector it is the opposite of the direction of velocity vector so if this is pointing down that means the actual velocity is going upward then volume rasterize attributes and uh, to this we take our collision vdb we reshape this and uh, erode it a little bit and uh, Clip the VDB, this our source VDB by this collision uh, geometry so that just to make sure uh, that there is no smoke sourcing happening outside of our collision. Then I cached it and we have our source. Next, we have this SDF again reshaped and this time dilated outwards. Just a little bit this box size again cached then we have our smoke solver itself and inside let's hide our static object for a bit 
we have our smoke object this is our division size nothing changed here other than that and the density is 50 uh, the this is just a visual multiplier for density did this doesn't have any effect on the simulation itself a gas resized fluid dynamic and we're sourcing here and this is the gas turbulence uh, pretty basic nothing really changed from the defaults except this scale then in our pre-solve step we added this expression density equals clamp density between 0 and 1 okay so this makes sure that the density is always between 0 and 1 and doesn't go to insane high numbers this is useful because if you want to do some operations based on the value of density so it's easier to map and remap values that are between 0 and 1 that's all and uh, doing this didn't seem to have a too much any significant effect on the behavior of the smoke so that's also good then after this step we uh, write this expression we declare a threshold chf t this is threshold and if our density is less than our threshold multiply velocity by zero just as simple as that you can also do other operations you can multiply it by curl noise or for example or anything you want basically you can do whatever you want here and then inside the smoke solver itself i have two sub steps and relationships i had this activated from something i was trying out earlier this one isn't important uh, for this simulation doesn't matter we have a colliding uh, collision stf so this doesn't matter here uh, all default and here i set the temperature diffusion and cooling rate to zero because we do not want our uh, smoke cooling down buoyancy is default and all other things are default as well then we have a ground plane and a static object here i am sampling the volume that i have here this volume as is is being sampled here it is not recalculating and i inverted the sign because uh, the collision have to uh, be happening from inside out not the other way around so after that I imported density and velocity, cast them out. Let's have a look. This is that simulation and it is looking a bit low resolution in the viewport. But if we go here, uh, if we hover over the viewport, press D, this uh, window will pop up. Go to texture and uncheck this limit resolution now change a step now it will take a lot longer to load up because uh, it is a heavy volume and i think the viewport needs a gpu for this and yeah that takes time like transferring data between ram and this to gpu and all that so yeah you can see it looks a lot better in full resolution but it also slows down the viewport by a lot so let's again limit the resolution and move on so then with this smoke i deleted the velocity i did some volume sharpening this is a new node in houdini 20 by the way volume sharpener and yeah just number of passes x nothing fancy going on here mostly default then we post process it convert it to vdb combine volumes then i take this collision geometry do a vdp from particles same voxel size and this step here is just to make sure that the density is one everywhere it needs to be and zero everywhere else and not some numbers in between zero and one then we combine bdb 
here I am doing a multiplication. So let's have a look at this. This is without that combination. You can see these a bit of these jagged edges. After this VDB combine, it gets us a bit better. So this is what we render in our uh, Solaris. So let's move on there. So in here in Solaris, uh, let's jump to frame 48 and First I imported the smoke and camera, added some lighting and uh, did some editing to the camera and for Karma settings I have five, 512 samples, resolution is 1080 by 1080 and I am exporting some UV, uh, AOVs nothing really too complex also i ended up not using any of the aovs so yeah and camera effects are disabled limits are default nothing like really heavy happening here so let's have a look So how I colored this smoke, let me show you that. Inside here, I am sampling our density, geometry property value node. This also sample volumes and get our uh, density here. Then I remapped it like this. Then we will take that density output and combine them into a vector and use that vector 2 and use that vector 2 as a texture texture coordinate and then i used an image i had lying around color corrected a bit just double the saturation and increase the exposure a little bit if i do not increase the exposure i think it looks different yeah it looks a bit different and with saturation one saturation one wasn't enough so yeah and then i plugged it into the absorb color now this is plugged into into the absorption color and if i do this in the smoke color this is more like this these colors are more like what i uh, what were in the image itself yeah so yeah let's get it back there let's see what happens if i plug it in here let's see this also i i did not write that early on this actually looks pretty good this actually looks really really good so yeah i also made these aovs three AOVs one is this color ramp which is basically the direct color output from the image let's have a look at it this and then I have a AOV density which would be this just yeah and the third is color map shifted after this color correction which is like really bright in this all and i did not use any of those so yeah don't really need to do that if you want to recreate something similar to this and yeah that's all